do it. <laughs> You're so annoying. I'd like you to delete that because I'm walking around in my pajamas. <laughs> <gasps> nope. Welcome to another reading vlog. It is currently October 1st, 2021 because I have not filmed a vlog in a thousand years, but William is not coming home from Oshawa. That's a whole nother story. My boyfriend moved to Oshawa, which is like two hours away from me, but it's fine. I'm fine, but he's not coming home this weekend. So I have a lot of spare time to actually read. So we're doing a reading vlog. It is currently 6.35 uh, AM. I'm about to go to work. I start at seven, but I like to get there at like 6.45 just so I can sign in all my staff and check their COVID screenings, blah, 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 because I'm the super if you guys didn't know, since I haven't uploaded in a thousand years, I am now a supervisor for early childhood education, a before and after school program. I absolutely love it. It is my favorite thing in the whole wide world. My staff are incredible and my children are my favorite thing ever. They're so sweet and just little angels. I'm probably not going to film too much today. I'm not gonna film when the kids are there. The kids are there from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. and then from 9 to 11 I'm doing like administry stuff. Administrator stuff? What is it called? Administrator? I think. And then I believe the program lead that I'm taking over for is coming down to show me how to do subsidy because that is due today as well. And then at like 10.40 a.m. I have to go down to the hub. The hub is basically where all of the like big shot people hang out and it's like my operational lead and my pedagogical lead. I have to go drop off my visa because you have to like break down all the money that you spent for the program for the month and my mileage, so how much I drove around because we got paid to drive. Like this job is a big girl job. I love it. But I have to go drop those two off at 11 a.m. specifically in no other time, which I don't really know why because we literally just put it in a drop box in the front foyer so I don't know I gotta go do that and then the reading will commence and I will update you guys on what I am reading but I gotta go drive because it's I'm gonna be late if I don't stop talking to you guys okay have a good morning I'll see you guys later It's now 1218. I totally forgot to vlog when I got home after the hub because I forgot that I'm vlogging because I haven't done it in so long. But I'm currently changing over my calendar so I have to write in all of the stuff that I have to do, which is pretty much just work. I don't think I have any like appointments or anything like that yet. It's literally just work every single day except Saturdays I have off. But other than that, working full time, your girl is a full time worker. But I'm also going to film my September wrap up today, I think. And then I'm going to start reading after that, which is when I will update what I am reading. Do you guys see my schedule? It's literally completely full, except Saturdays, except that Saturday I have to work. But this is so much working and I don't want to do it, but also I need money. So I will do it begrudgingly finally ready to update you on what I'm reading. I am reading Take Me Where You Go by Jennifer Niven and David Leviathan. Leviathan? I don't know how to say his last name. I think it's Leviathan. But I am listening to it on audiobook. I am on part five of six, so I'm pretty much done it now, but it follows a boy named Ezra who wakes up one morning and his 
older sister B has gone missing and he ends up finding an email address that she left for him in a place where only he would be able to find it. So he ends up emailing this email address and the whole story is told in the emails between him and his sister and there's also like other emails thrown in there to other random people in the story. It also follows an abusive parenting relationship which is interesting but it's kind of hard to read at time so if that's like a trigger for you abusive family situations don't pick this up but I'm enjoying it so far I think it will probably be a 3 or 3.5 depending on how it ends because I am very intrigued to see how it does end because right now the siblings have been separated this entire time so I'm kind of wanting them to get back together you know we don't like runaways we want them with their families but also not in an abusive situation so hopefully it ends like happily but i guess we'll see but it is now two o'clock i have to go back to work at 2 30 till 6 and then i'm off for the rest of the night mom and i are gonna go grocery shopping so i'm sure there will be some quality car content which i have not done in such a long time and then I'm off Saturday, so there will be a lot of reading. I'm hopefully going to film a lot of videos because I have a lot planned and I'm hoping to pre-film so that I don't have to film throughout the month of October because this job takes up a lot of my time and on the weekends, usually William, my boyfriend, comes home or I will be going to Oshawa at some point. I don't know when. But like my weekends on Friday night and Saturday are like will time and then Sunday I work. So filming does not happen. So I'm hoping to get a lot of pre-film stuff done so that I don't have to worry about it. That's the plan. So I'm going to go back to work now and then I will see you guys in the car probably for quality car content. Wow, it's very dark. Oh, you're vlogging. I'm vlogging this week. Yes. Well, this weekend. We're going to Walmart. Why? To get the groceries. It's only 719. Do you see how dark it is at 719? This is ridiculous. Winter is we here. We haven't even done the time change yet. Well, I'm mad winter about it. Winter is here. Yeah, <laughs> winter is coming. Isn't that Games of Thrones? I never watched that show. No? Nope. I only watched like scenes of it with you guys and it was usually like death and destruction. Yeah. But we just had Wendy's. It was really good. We haven't had Wendy's in a while. I was too lazy to cook. Yeah, that's the update on our life. Uh, Wendy's at groceries. It's dark out. That's it? That's all you got to talk about? My afternoon shift was a shit show, uh, but I got it figured out, so we're okay. Were you vlogging this morning? Yes. Oh, okay. You didn't see it though? I didn't see it because I was fast asleep. Yes. And yeah, that's about all I got right now. That's it? Yeah. What do you have to say? How was your I have day? a new lawn. Yeah, mom redid our whole lawn, so we got Fresh it all teared up and then I'll uh -huh. put back in and they left the bobcat on our lawn and I really wanted to go in it but my I, guess is they deliberately took the keys yeah but I just wanted to sit in it but well, I thought, you could have sat in it well I thought that that wouldn't be very responsible do you think well, it wouldn't be but but I was like ooh, photo op but I didn't but you do didn't. it because I'm a good girl but mom got gardens now so I she's very excited gardens and I have a lawn and I spent the whole week watering. That's all I've been doing is watering and soaking myself. Well, you're retired, so. Trying to figure out. Yeah, I said it. I said what I said. You got nothing else to do. See? Oh, you piss me off when you say that. <laughs> I'm not gonna get into it with you. Hello, good morning. It's now Saturday. I'm literally just waking up this second, but I need to go shower. And then the plans for the day are to read Defy the Night by Bridget Kremer because I finished the other book that I was reading that I can't remember the name of. I think it's like Take Me When You Go. I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars, I think, but it was enjoyable. It was a good time. The ending was satisfactory. But like I said, I'm going to go shower and then I'm going to start Defy the Night, which is like a new fantasy series. I never read A Curse So Dark and Lonely, which I have the first book over there, but I have not read that series yet. But a lot of people do like it. This one is a new fantasy series and it's about this kingdom where a deadly sickness is going through it and 
there's two brothers who are like the king and the king's justice so he's like really ruthless his name is Korok and in order to rule they've had to put down like an iron fist basically because their parents died and then they were appointed king and king's justice but there's been rumors about a rebellion starting by a apothecary apprentice named Tessa who secretly steals moonflower petals in order to make an elixir to try to stop this illness but the moonflower petals are really rare so they decide that they are going to break into the palace to steal these petals in order to make this elixir to save the kingdom from this virus and I'm assuming they get caught and I'm assuming that Tessa and Korik are going to become a thing. I don't know though, I'm literally on page two so can't say much about it but that's the plan for today but I'm gonna go shower. I'm one of those people who like literally needs to shower as soon as I wake up or I feel disgusting all day so that's what I'm gonna go do. Also, Bath and Body Works candles are currently $10 off, so they're only $15.95 instead of $25.95, and I really need to be convinced not to go because I have an entire bag full of candles underneath my bed, but fall scents are out now, and I really want candles that are fall, but I don't need them, so I'm not gonna go, but I might end up going, but I'm not gonna go, but I might. You know that like meme or what is it called now? TikTok? I was gonna say Vine. <laughs> Show your age. But the TikTok that is like, girl, I'm not gonna do it. Girl, I did it. That's gonna be me today. But I'm gonna try to make it not me. But I make no guarantees. I'm like on page 95 of this book. And I think I have it figured out. And I can't tell you guys what it is I think is true because that'll give it away like the entire book and the whole concept of this book but I'm pretty sure I'm correct and I don't know if I want to be mad about it because it's so obvious or if my brain is just superior and is able to figure this out but I'm gonna update you guys if I actually am correct and I'm very excited if I am. I was correct and I am so excited for how this book is going to progress from here. I'm really liking it like honestly right now it's a 5 out of 5 stars and I'm only on page like 120 so I only have this as an e-arc and I kind of want to go buy a finished copy if it continues to be this good because I want it on my shelf and the cover is also really pretty so I just want to like display it because it's so pretty but I need to pause because I need to go film my second part of my September wrap up my October TBR I'm probably gonna do like a thriller recommendation video because I do that every year as well as a spooky book recommendation video and then my mom actually wrote a tag like three years ago called the murder murder stabby stabby tag and I've never filmed it and she asked me like every single October to do it and I never have so I think I might actually film that today and I also have like four hauls that I should probably film and just a lot of pre-filming to do so I think we're gonna start that process now I'll probably only be able to get through like two videos before my camera dies because it dies so quickly because I never stop talking and I just ramble on so my videos that are end up being like 10 minutes long take me like 40 minutes to film because i just never shut up we're gonna go film and then listen to more of this book because i'm obsessed so i have filmed my october tbr part one of my september wrap-up and my thriller recommendation video but now my camera has to charge so we're going back to reading defy the night bridget kremer i am now like 202 pages into it i'm obsessed I love this so stinking much. Tessa is a really, really fun character. I love her voice. We get alternating perspectives between Tessa and Prince Korik. Korik, also love him. I thought I wasn't gonna like him at the beginning because he is portrayed as this like heartless killer basically, which he is not. He is a little sweet cinnamon roll and I really, really, really like him and he's so adorable. I am about halfway through the book. My plan is to keep listening to the audiobook of this. I already did my dailies on Animal Crossing, so now it's like, what am I supposed to do? Because there's nothing to do. My mom went out with my aunt. My dad went to get his hair cut. My brother's still sleeping, not that he talks to me anyways. I just feel like there's nothing to do, so reading is what we're doing. But also, I'm not mad about it because 
like I said, freaking loving this book. Definitely recommend. I feel like it's underrated. I know that a lot of people said they were anticipating it, but I haven't heard anybody actually talk about it yet. So maybe I'm the first person, but I'm obsessed. I love it so far. Halfway through. Hopefully I continue to love because five out of five stars so far. So it's now 6.30 and I've spent the past like two hours talking to Will on FaceTime and uh, he told me to tell you guys this. We were in a fight, but I whipped him back into shape and now we're good again so i have not really done any reading since then i am on like 275 of defy the night still obsessed definitely going to be a five out of five stars i did not go to the bath and body Works sale i did good but then mother walked into my room because I finished burning a candle and I pulled out all my candles under my bed because there's like 50,000 of them and I have absolutely no fall sense. They're all winter or summer. So moms decided that tomorrow when I'm done work, we're going. So I was successful today, but I'm gonna end up failing because mom says we're going and I do whatever my mother says. So I tried my best, but my best was not good enough. Hello, it's now Sunday. I'm hoping that you guys will be able to hear me. It's raining outside right now, so I'm waiting for it to like die down a little bit before I go into my house because I just finished work. It's like 12.50. Mom and I are gonna go to Bath and Body Works even though um, I said I wasn't gonna go. She convinced me to go, so we're going. But I figured I would update you guys on Defy the Night by Bridget Kremer. I finished it, loved it, five out of five stars. I had not realized when I was reading it that it is a Robin Hood retelling, but now that I found that out, like, duh. Like, I don't understand why I did not put two and two together. Like, I did think when I started it, oh, this is kind of like Robin Hood vibes, you know, stealing from the rich, giving to the poor kind of thing. But I didn't know that it was like actually supposed to be a Robin Hood retelling. But so good i love tessa i love wes i love prince Corrick. all three of the characters are so complex they have so many layers and i just adored learning more about them i am so excited for the sequel whenever that is going to be released according to goodreads it doesn't even have like a title release date literally nothing it just says defy the night number one so i'm assuming is going to be a whole series like i said five out of five stars loved it also the political intrigue fighting going on between everybody in the kingdom was just i loved it so much if you have not read defy the night because i think it came out in september so it's pretty new i really do recommend it it is so much fun but i'm going to go run to my front door now and hope i don't get soaked and then we're going to the mall look at the toy mommy got <laughs> show them show them so i don't have to pound them with my feet Wow! Isn't that exciting? Wanna try it? So much fun. Is it really hard though? No, you just use two hands. Yeah. Oh, that one crushes easy. I know. Some of them do, some of them don't. Bring me my bounty. <laughs> <laughs> bounty? Yes. Are you all ready for this Bath and Body Works candle haul? First up, it is Marshmallow Fireside. This one is Mother's. It's not mine. Mom bought three and I bought four because I have no self-control. Except four is pretty good for me because usually when there's a sale, I buy a thousand. And then I got high pumpkin, pumpkin spice latte. Pumpkin pie, spice, freshly brewed espresso, homemade whipped cream. This one is mine. This one is toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla. How would somebody know what smoldering wood smelled like? Like, did they set the wood on fire and then they're like, ah, yes. Quite possible. And then pumpkin vanilla cream is fresh pumpkin, vanilla cream, and nutmeg. This one's mine. It's like a magic bag of tricks. It's like Mary Poppins bag. What will she pull out next? Vanilla pumpkin marshmallow, cashew vanilla pumpkin spice homemade marshmallow. I spent $72.09. What's next in the bag of tricks? <coughs> pumpkin pecan waffle, this one's mine. This one, my mom, for the past like two years, there's one candle that's called pumpkin brittle, peanut brittle. pumpkin peanut brittle. It's the one that I've wanted for the longest time and so my mom went to surprise me and she ended up buying me pumpkin pecan waffles. Yeah, and then for Christmas, she got me another one because she thought that it was the pumpkin brittle one and it was not, it was this one. But now it's one of my favorite smells, so I'll take it. But it's maple syrup, golden waffles, and pumpkin spice. Yeah, you also got a pumpkin vanilla cream. 
those are your three. Last one is mine, and it's salted butterscotch. So apparently, I like marshmallows. Yes, it's brown sugar, sweet cream, sea salt. Mm. It's so good. But that is my candle haul slash mom's candle haul. Both of our candle hauls. But I'm gonna go burn it now. Bye.